Um, in this video, we're going to look at uh, the basic uh, techniques of how to evaluate uh, uh, contour integrals uh, in the complex plane. Um, so um, we're just going to look at how to work this out manually. Um, in uh, subsequent videos, we're going to then introduce some theorems that uh, will enable us to uh, evaluate uh, some of these integrals in a more element elegant uh, uh, manner. So just uh, note that uh, contour integral um, is the same as uh, line integral. So this could be called contour integrals or line integrals. The other thing that we wish to note is that um, the the technical side of uh, working contour integrals in the complex plane is exactly the same as uh, how we work integrals in uh, vector calculus. In fact, we already have uh, a few videos, a series of videos on how to work out line integrals uh, for vector uh, valued functions. We're going to post the link here so that you can have a look at them um, if you have time. Uh, indeed, if you still are uh, going to uh, do the vector calculus course. So um, here is uh, um, the um, form of um, um, integral we are going to evaluate. So typically you're going to have uh, integral of some function f of z dz. Um, so here, uh, recall that uh, z is equal to x plus i y. So dz is always going to be dx plus i dy. And then c here is going to be a given um, curve or, or contour. Um, so C could be a given um, uh, integral, um, sorry, contour or, or, or curve. Um, this uh, is an example of what C could be. And um, so we will either have to find uh, the um, <clears throat> equation for C or the equation might be given, of course. So basically here, what we need to do uh, if we call this uh, i, is we are going to have to use um, um, the equation of c to express uh, the integral in terms of uh, one variable. Express i uh, in terms of one variable or, or parameter. Uh, using the equation of C. So that's basically what the technique is going to involve. <clears throat> and just before we continue here, if C happens to be a closed um, contour, then notationally, um, our integral, we write it like this okay so that tells us that uh, c is a closed contour all right so let's uh, look at some examples so here we've got <clears throat> an example where we're integrating 2ix <clears throat> minus y plus 3dz from minus 1 plus i to 3 plus 9i for this video, we're just going to focus on the first uh, path here, which is the polygonal line from minus 1 plus i to 3 plus i. So that's going to be a straight line. And then from 3 plus i to 3 plus 9i, another straight line. In the second case, we're going to look at uh, the straight line joining the two points. So integral along that straight line. And then in the last case, we're going to look at uh, the value of the integral along a parabola given by this equation here. So let's get on straight with uh, the first one. <clears throat> so in uh, the first one, 
we have got uh, C is uh, defined by the polygonal line. So from minus 1 to I to 3 plus I and then from 3 plus I to 3 plus 9 I. So let's uh, uh, just uh, show a sketch of what this is going to look like. So what we're going to have is uh, a horizontal line um, and then a vertical line. <clears throat> this one is uh, 3 plus I minus 1 plus I here. And then finally, this is 3 plus 9 I. <clears throat> so um, what we're going to do is uh, if we call this one C11 and this one C12, uh, what we need to do is to evaluate the integral along C11 and then evaluate the integral along C12 and then add the two components together. So first of all, C11, the equation of C11, uh, so remember, this is just the point minus 1, 1. This one is just the point 3, 1. So that is a horizontal line. So its equation is going to be y equal to 1. If y equal to, is equal to 1, then dy is going to be 0 because <clears throat> derivative of 1 is 0. Then x here uh, ranges from minus 1 to 3. So minus 1 here, 3 there. So, um, <clears throat> what's going to happen here is uh, when we write our integral along C11, dz, which is equals to dx plus i dy, since dy is equals to 0, dz is just going to be dx. So, the integral from minus 1 to minus 1 plus i to 3 plus 9 i of 2 i x minus 1 y plus 3 dz is now going to be, so every y we are going to replace by 1. Every dy is going to become 0. So this is going to be minus 1 plus 3 and then in the place of dz we just have dx so this is now just an integral of x so in terms of the limits we're just going to be asking our que the question what is x here what is x here and x here is negative 1 x there is 3 so those are going to be our limits so this is now just uh, a uh, straight uh, forward uh, usual integral if I can use that term so it's going to be 2ix plus 2 dx from minus 1 to 3 so integrating that 2ix is going to give us uh, x squared i and then this is going to give us 2x from minus 1 to 3 and then we uh, do the limits as usual so when x is 3 this is going to be 9i plus 6 when x is negative 1 this is going to be i minus 2 if we simplify that we get uh, 8i <clears throat> plus 8 so that is the integral along c11 here Next, we want to do the integral along C12. C12 is a vertical straight line. Um, so its equation is going to be x equal to something. And uh, um, along that C12, x is equal to... Um, <clears throat> uh, let's see, what is x equals to? x is equals to 3. So that is going to be the equation of uh, C12. x is equal to 3. If x is equal to 3, it means dx is equal to 0. 
y ranges between 1 and 9. So our integral, call this thing i, okay? So i is going to be equal to, wherever we come across x, we plug in 3. So it's going to be 2i times 3. That's going to be 6i. Got 6i there minus y plus 3. dx is 0. So that means here, this term vanishes. We're just going to be left with i dy. So i dy here. Of course, i is just a constant. So this is an integral of y then the limits are going to be given by these, uh, uh, the extent uh, or the range of y. So y goes from 1 to 9. And then all we need to do now is to integrate. Um, we could multiply by i first and then integrate. So 6i squared is minus 6. Uh, this is going to be minus i. It's going to be 3i. Notice that none of them are like terms. And then, so after that, we're going to integrate. So the um, integral is going to be 3iy, it's the integral of this term, minus 6y, minus iy squared over 2. This time we are integrating from 1 to 9. So when you plug in 9, 9 times 3, 27i, then um, 6 times 9 is 54. This is going to be 81i over 2. Then take away when y is 1, it's going to be 3i minus 6 minus i over 2. Okay. So again, um, if we uh, simplify this, um, this is just going to give us minus 48 minus 64i, okay? So then the integral, um, so, so therefore the integral along the whole contour C or C1 is going to be the integral um, along so to I x minus y is going to be equal to the integral along C11 which we found to be 8i plus 8 and then we're going to have to add the integral along C12, which we've just found to be minus 48, minus 64. Adding these two, we get minus 40, minus 56. So that's going to be the integral uh, of uh, this thing along the polygonal line. Right. What I'm going to do now is we're going to give you a... Um, um, similar integral okay so um, just for you to have uh, uh, to see whether you really understand what we're doing so you want to do um, integral of the same thing we're just going to um, 9i here we're just going to slightly modify the, the contour so plus 3 here Okay, but uh, in your case, you're going to do this along uh, the polygonal line from minus 1 plus i to minus 1 plus 9i, then 2, 3 plus 9i. Okay, so uh, please have a go at that. You can just pause the video, work through this, and then when you finish, 
then you're going to be in a position to compare with our solution all right uh, we're now going to uh, go through the solution uh, for this modified example here uh, before we do that we'd like to thank you for visiting our channel and watching our video we hope uh, that uh, the videos are useful uh, we do of course employ you to subscribe and support our channel if you've got any questions uh, we will be happy to hear from you just post them in the comment section below uh, um, if you like something of course uh, again would like to hear that feedback from you so in this case um, in the earlier case we did uh, the contour which was going horizontal first then vertical this one is going vertical first so for c11 if you call uh, this first one c11 x is negative one here so dx is going to be zero um, so that means for this one this is just going to be i dy because dx is zero where there is x we plug in negative one and then y here ranges from one to nine because uh, that's a y integral so that's going to be the limits then for if we call this one still one two y is nine here so dy is zero so whenever we see y we plug in nine dy is zero here means we're just going to have dx plug in nine there and then x varies from minus one to three minus one to three and then we just integrate um, so here if we first multiply by i this is just going to be two minus i y plus three i here minus nine plus three is minus six and then we just integrate that's going to be two y is going to be i squared on 2 3 y i that's going to be i x squared minus 6 x uh, if you plug in the limits accordingly and simplify this gives us uh, minus 8 minus 8 i all right thank you